crazy sleep. I'm aware I'm very late to this. You guys have probably seen this all over YouTube for the past couple of days, but Randolph has dropped a diss track on Deji. I have never reacted to a diss track in my life, so this is my first ever time doing it. So don't be expecting some pro review from a rapper because I'm not a rapper. I have no idea what's happening. I just want to listen to a song, watch it with you guys, and share my opinions on it. So basically, if you don't know why there is beef, it is because Randolph said something in a Sideman Family Fortunes video. He said that Deji's channel was dead as a joke, and Deji has said something about his wife or something like that, and now Randolph has dropped a diss track. Honestly, no idea what is happening. I... I don't know. Let's just listen to the song. Yo guys, it's Lee. I hope you're all ready for an absolute oh, algorithm. Sorry about that, wrong video. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see on my screen, it's a black screen at the minute because I've not pressed play, but the song is called Manchild. So, I personally don't know what it means by this because I, as you all know, I am not in that friendship group. So, opinions from me basically mean nothing, it's just me watching this video. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Got to learn to take jokes better, Deji. Sorry for stopping it straight away. But one thing I like about Randolph is he is northern. My man Randolph is northern, just like me. I am northern. And also, I'm aware that Randolph is like a, a proper rapper. Like, he is a signed rapper. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know he's a rapper, so I am expecting this to be quite good. Especially with so called family. Uh, look, you're right. I've been living in the side men's house. I took your room. They kicked you out because you ain't paying rent. You couldn't find a cat. I didn't know that was why Deji got kicked out of the Sideman house. Like I've literally just said, he's a proper rapper and I, I think this is a really good beat. A lot of people are probably watching my video thinking, oh, you know nothing about rapping. I do not have a clue. Literally do not, but I like the sound of this beat. And that diss just then, I've always wanted to know why Deji got kicked out of the Sideman house and apparently he wasn't paying rent. So, but I don't know, I don't know. Couldn't find the cash, let me clear the air and take out the trash. It's over, you lost your pedigree. I'm more of a man than you ever be. I'm digging your grave, this is a cemetery. This is elementary. You can't take a joke, you need to relax, G. Back in LA, I was paying for your taxes. Right. <laughs> I have heard a lot about that line, like on Twitter and stuff. I have seen a lot about Randolph saying he paid for Deji's taxis, which to me, that just says that Randolph's a nice guy, you know? But in this case, Randolph is dissing Deji, like saying, oh, like you ain't got the money to pay for a taxi. But I don't know, like I say, all I've seen on Twitter is just stuff about this. Don't you need to relax, G, back in LA, I was paying for your taxis. You're the poorest rich man that I know. Every time your car comes out, decline, bro. Oh. <laughs> That's probably why I'm probably really annoying everybody by watching this and just stopping it every two minutes. But I've never done a reaction video to a diss track before, so I don't really know. Deji's card was getting declined, which again, I have seen on Twitter that some people said that Deji has said the reason his card was getting declined is because there was something up with his card at that moment in time. So, I don't know. But can I just put another disclaimer out there that I am not being biased in this video. I am also going to react to Deji's diss track because Deji has a diss track out now. But I'm not being biased. I'm not going to say, oh, Randolph is dissing Deji. Deji better or Deji's gonna dish Randolph better because I don't have a say in it. I'm just a random old, no I'm not old, I'm a random young YouTuber that just wants to listen to some diss tracks. How you gonna speak on my living arrangements when you're young wishing you're famous? Now Deji tell me are you brain dead? Cause you still live with your parents. That's a good point. Deji still lives with his parents but in reality I don't see that as a bad thing. I'm 19 and I still live with my parents. I don't see anything bad with that. My brother didn't move out until he was like 21 or 22 I think and Deji has has probably paid like the most amount of money for the house that he's living in with his parents so like he's he's putting a roof over his parents head like I think that's a cool thing unless I'm wrong I don't know but I don't see it being that big of a problem that did did you that Deji still lives with his parents I got loyalty deep in my veins you got no brains you got no friends you got no game losing your fame losing your name this is your end you're just a poor man I can't lie you're just a poor mark inside you went to war with the wrong guy there is no way you can hide <laughs> Randolph is sick at rapping. That was sick. I can't even do that. Yo, my name is Lee. I like to wee. I want to wee, 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 dee. You see, I have got no flow, but I am saying that Randolph has very good flow. I think that's a, a well-used term in rapping. I don't know the terms, but to me, that was very good flow. It was very quick. And he called him a Walmart KSI. Listen, you've achieved this credible. Too busy to get edibles. Backstage, hours before. Right. <laughs> 
I don't really want to talk about that subject too much on my channel because I am all PG on my channel. But I think I know that edibles is something to do with an illegal substance that you put in something and you eat it. That is all I'm going to say. I don't want to talk on that subject, but now that's come out that he did that before they went on stage for the face-to-face -face thing for the boxing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no quit, no heart, no fight. No faith, no bark, no bite. These soft <laughs> that turn you down. I saw the girls that you brought to the house. Ten minutes with you and they bounce. As soon as they figure out what you're about. Wow. So sad you're alone. I don't want to go. Should we still know? Oh my god, the, there's so much in this video that is not PG for my channel, but it's a diss track and I'm reacting to it. Okay, so like I said, I feel sorry for Deji because he just said like, so sad you're a loner. It's not nice being alone, is it? But I just, I feel sorry for him in a way because it's like uh, everyone's sort of like, everyone's giving him beef. <laughs> and I just think there is no need for beef, no need for drama because it's just so negative. But I just feel sorry for him. And the next line is relating to a girl on a website, clearly. Relating to girl on the website clearly added to your shopping list. I don't want you to add anything to my shopping list. Alexa, I didn't even say your name. Alexa, remove all items from my shopping list. You'd like to remove all items from your shopping list. Yes. I would, yes. Done. Thank you very much. I definitely do not want that on my shopping list. Catfish, no atonement. Remember that girl from Tinder. You want to go and link her. Turned out she was a guy. I warned you, man, no lie. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wow. See, guys, Tinder, dangerous place. Stay away from Tinder. Do not go on it. Dangerous place. Do not go on Tinder. I heard about that. I have heard that apparently they went out one night and Deji made a 10 grand bet with KSI that he could basically go pull any girl he wanted. And then apparently this girl wasn't interested in Deji. She was interested in JJ. So that, that's what I've heard. I don't know, but... <laughs> oh, this world is weird. That line is very deep. I find that really, like, like I say, I feel sorry for him. So, like I say, it was proven what I've just said about the girl wanting to go with JJ, but that saying, like, oh, that's the story of your life, I find that really, like, really feel sorry for him because that's, like, literally saying, oh, you're just in, like, your brother's shadow, like, the whole of your life. And I think that's really, like, sad. Obviously, it's a diss track, so you have to say things like that to hurt people's feelings. But, like I say, from my point of view, like, I, I feel sorry. But then again, Deji did apparently say something about Randolph's wife so if you talk about someone's wife that's what you're gonna get back from a rapper <laughs> Wow! That beat just changed like massively and now he's talking about his channel and he's boxing. To be fair though, he's saying that about the blood on his face. I genuinely think Deji did a sick job in a boxing match against Jake Paul. So like big up Deji for that. I think he did a sick job. Everyone thought he was going to do so bad and then he came out and Jake's face was a mess. So, but I think all of the boxers at that event did a really good job. But it's so good at least you got paid. Oh wait, oh wait, 20% that's all you got. So you got. Could have been for you, but you got dropped, you got dropped. Exploring your brother trying to get half, didn't get your own way, so run back. I heard that if Deji won, he would have got 40% or something, but just for taking part, he was meant to get 20 or 25%, but then he wanted 50%, so he asked JJ, and JJ said no. Maybe wrong. If I am wrong, please correct me in the comments down below. I don't want to offend anybody, but I think that is what I've seen on Twitter and stuff like that. Give you a roof, give you a chef, give you a coach, give you the checks, but you bit the hand that feeds you. Use a joke, use a mess, too busted to fight well, and he's too scared to fight him, so instead he's settling for that American all right fair play randolph so he's saying that deji is just gonna ask him to get in the ring to box and obviously randolph's like nah i ain't about that he's saying that he's fat and to be honest randolph ain't even fat i don't even think randolph's fat at all but like deji probably will be saying oh come on randolph instead of doing a diss track let's just have a boxing match that is what will happen I 
after August 25th Same old Deji man child Randolph Yeah Okay, we're done. We're done. Okay, we've listened to the whole thing. What he said about Deji losing subs because he's not changed his game. In a way, that is true because on YouTube, you have to adapt to what is happening on YouTube to sort of stay in the community. But also, YouTube sometimes is, is really weird and deletes inactive subs because it's happened on my channel, so I've experienced it. But everyone knows that to stay in like the YouTube community, you have to adapt. It's like anything in life. If you want to change as a person or change like what you're doing, you have to adapt to what's happening around you. So, in a way, again, Randolph is right. But there were some things in there that I was like, oh, didn't really mean anything. So, overall, I think that is a pretty solid diss track. I'm not gonna lie, it's got a good beat, good flow, he's a very good rapper, clearly. And there was a few things in there that obviously will probably hit Deji in the feels, because that is the whole point of a diss track. But like I say, I hope you guys didn't just see him and think, oh, Lee, please stop pausing it. I just wanna listen to it. If you wanna go listen to it, the link to the video will be in the description. If you agree with me on things that I said, please Please leave it down in the comments below let me know what you think if you didn't agree with me let me know what you think also if you enjoyed this video please leave a like down below let's try and smash 3,000 likes on this video let's try and get 1,500 likes in the first 24 hours and I will upload a reaction to Deji's diss track tomorrow thank you everybody for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video peace